Hey, what's going on Ecom Dominators? Cynthia here and in today's video I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can get started with selling print on demand can coolers. Now I am doing a series on my channel where I will focus on one product and kind of show you guys the process on how you can set it up and start selling it all on day one. So if you are new to my channel, hey what's up my name is Cynthia and I teach everything related to print on demand, e-commerce, drop shipping, how to make money online. So if you're interested in learning more, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified for more content just like this. Alrighty, so let's get started. Now for those of you who are new to the print on demand business, I do have a free training that you can go ahead and register. Just go to build.tbootcamp.com and you can get into my seven step system where I'll walk you through how you can set up your own print on demand business step by step. So it's a very quick training, it's literally 60 minutes, that's all it is. And I will show you exactly how to build your Shopify store, how to put in your first product, how to link your supplier, et cetera, et cetera. So great training if you are new. Now, let me talk quickly about the benefits of print on demand. Um, number one, I love this business because there are no inventory. I'm not asking you to store the small, medium, large, and every possible color t-shirt in your warehouse. So all this is done by your supplier, so you don't even have to touch the product. Another thing is there's no equipment. Again, like I said, you don't have to own any of the printing equipment. All of that is done by your print-on-demand vendors. Um, no employees. You can actually start this business by yourself. All you would need is a laptop and internet connection, and you can get started. And you don't need any prior experience. Um, if you sign up for my free training, I literally walk you through step-by-step. All right, so for the purpose of this training, I'm going to focus on a different niche, which is the biking niche. I try to pick different niches just to kind of show you guys the versatility of print on demand that, you know, it can work with almost any niche. And so in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can sell canned coolers literally again with a simple design. So let me show you how simple the print on demand business is. You literally take a simple design. Remember, this design only exists inside of your computer. This design has not been printed on any type of products. So what you would do is you would put this design on any product. So in this case, since I'm doing a full tutorial on can coolers, you literally slap this design on a can cooler and you can start selling it by tonight. It's literally that simple and easy to get started. So I will be using this design as an example for this tutorial. Now before I get started, I want to go ahead and debunk some of the myths that I've been hearing time and time again with the print on demand business. So the first one is you can't make money with print on demand because the margins are too low. Another concern I always hear is you only need to sell high ticket products to make a profit. Now I'm going to show you in this training how none of these are true and that you can still make a profit if you understand how to market your product correctly. So why bother selling canned coolers when the margins are so small? Now, even with small margin products, you can still make a decent profit, like I said again, if you know how to market and sell it correctly. So the answer to this question is, you want to go ahead and bundle your offer. You can sell your canned coolers in a pack of four, six, 12, et cetera. So you can actually choose that number. So what that does is every customer that comes into your store, you're getting an increase in your average order value. People who are coming in wanting to buy one can cooler are now leaving with four, six, or maybe even 12. So that is how you can make majority of your profits even with a low ticket item. So this is a recent order that I got on my Shopify store for a can cooler that I'm also selling. And in this case, I did not bundle this offer, but what I've been seeing is when I'm selling can coolers, a lot of people have been buying them in multiples of four or multiples in six or 10, because simply people want to um, give these out to their friends and their family. So a lot of people do purchase more than one. So it's actually a great product if you can bundle it correctly and um, run your ads in that way.
So first thing I want to draw to your attention is notice the price that I set it at. So I set each of the can coolers at $14.99. That's how much is per cooler. Now this person purchased four of the can coolers. So, you know, if I do the math, this person bought four can coolers, that would be $49.96. That's how much they are going to pay for it. Um, versus if someone just comes in to purchase one, they'll only be paying you $14.99 for it, which a lot of people's concern is with low uh, margin products. You know, after you run your ads, you subtract it, you literally either break even or lose a profit. So by bundling your offers, you're going to get a bigger profit margin. So you have more room to play with when you are running Facebook ads. So another thing I want you to focus on is check out my shipping. Um, so this person did purchase four, so that's why shipping is a little high. Um, I hear a lot of people time and time again tell me like, you know, should I offer free shipping or should I actually charge for shipping? I always tell my students that make sure you are charging for shipping. You know, that's really going to help you increase your profit margins um, because sometimes when you are selling a low margin product, we kind of need that shipping cost to really help boost our profits. And so it's a it's one thing to not forget. And, you know, I've run multiple tests between free shipping and paid shipping, and I found that they both perform equally. And so I didn't see a drop in conversions when I charge for shipping versus not charging for shipping. So always charge for shipping. That's going to really make a huge difference in your business. So let's go ahead and crunch the numbers. So from the order that I showed you previously, um, the total revenue from that one order was around 70 bucks. Now after Stripe fees or PayPal fees or whatever, we're going to make round and about 68 bucks from it. And I'm going to subtract the cost of goods uh, plus the shipping from Viral Style. That's the supplier I'm using to print my can coolers. Um, so for the four coolers plus shipping, they charged me $21.25. So after everything, my total profit comes down to $47, which is amazing. Now, again, um, I am selling a low ticket product. So from one order, I'm profiting about $47 from a low ticket product. I don't want anyone telling me that low ticket items don't sell or you can never make a profit in print on demand by selling a low ticket item. That is simply not true. Those are people who don't know how to market their product and don't know how to price uh, the products correctly or even add in the shipping cost. So there's a lot of things you think about when you are selling things. You know, a lot of companies sell very, very cheap items. A lot of companies sell very, very um, expensive items. And in either price point, you can still make money if you know how to market it and run your ads correctly. So right now I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how you can set up these bundles yourself. So um, my recommendation is if you do want to start selling bundles like this, you can start on either Shopify or ClickFunnels. I do use both. Um, Shopify mainly is for me to actually build a brand around my products and ClickFunnels. I like to use it to test new products or new niches that I um, want to get into. So they're both very good at selling print on demand products. So I would go with either, but for the purpose of this training, I'm just going to show you how to set it up on Shopify. So let's hop on over guys. So right now I am on borrow style and for the purpose of this training, I'm going to use one of my old test account to show you the process on how to create the can cooler product. Now, again, if you want the full tutorial on how to build your own Shopify store, you can sign up for my free training at build.tbootcamp.com where I'll show you step by step on how to set it up. But for the purpose of this training, we're going to go straight to creating the product. So the first thing you want to come and do is click this green button that says create new product and we are going to select the product that we want so we can upload the design. All right, so over here it's under drinkware and you scroll all the way down here. Um, you have the option to pick the bottle sleeve or can sleeve. Um, I've tried to test both of them. They both work equally well, but in this case, I'm just going to click can sleeve. 
Now they can have the option to select multiple different colors. Um, I'm going to go ahead and upload my design and I'll be right back. So I just uploaded my design, but notice that my design doesn't look very good on a white background. So of course I'm going to change the color of my can sleeve. Um, I can choose pink, uh, orange, but in this case I'm going to choose black. And over here I can go ahead and resize the image because it is cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and resize it a little bit. I'm going to drag it to the center. It's going to make it perfect. Okay. So that looks good. I'm going to leave it just like that. Um, I really do like print on demand because they give you the option to adjust your design. You can scale it however you like. Um, so right over here you can pick multiple different colors. I'm just going to choose black for the purpose of this training and then I'm going to go ahead and click next. Now over here they give you the option to set your own selling price. I think $14.99 for can cooler is pretty reasonable so I'm going to stick to $14.99. Now once you come to the next page, you can enter in the title. So I'm just going to say test biking can cooler. And then you can edit description and then just say I have agreed to the terms. And then you can select the collection that you want to add it to. And then you can go ahead and click uh, launch. So what it will do right now is viral style is syncing all of the mockups and pushing them inside of your Shopify store. Now let's go and check out this product inside the product section of our store. So right now I am on the product section of the page where you can go ahead and edit the title, description, uh, images, things like that. But because we want to sell bundled products, we will have to set up a separate listing where we're going to set up the bundled offer. Because if people come onto this page, they can only purchase one. They may even purchase more than one. Um, but you know, the way that I want to sell my low ticket items is already have it bundled for them so that they just go ahead and click purchase and that their checkout will be a lot easier. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and create a new listing. And in order to create a new listing, just come on over here, it says add product and you can go ahead and add any kind of product manually. And then over here I can add in, you know, pack of, I don't know, five can cooler. Um, and I just type biking and I can enter in the description. I'm just going to paste in whatever viral style gave me and then I can enter in some of my images. Um, I'm going to set the price. So the price of this will be $14.99. Um, we're going to just leave that on there. And then shipping should be fine. So for the image part, um, a lot of people will ask me the question, you know, do I just upload one photo of the can cooler or multiples and how do I create it? So right now I'm going to hop onto Photoshop and show you how I create my bundled image. Now on Photoshop, I went ahead and I copied the image that was generated by Viral Style and I just pasted it inside of Photoshop. So, you know, you don't need Photoshop to create this, but I do recommend that if you're going to do print on demand to have Photoshop, it's such a great tool to use. Um, you can obviously create it on Canva if you don't want to invest in Photoshop, but you know, Photoshop is very cheap, $9.99 per month and you can use their software. But First off, um, how I like to create my bundles is actually show my customer the full image um, because oftentimes when they land on your product page and you're trying to sell a pack of four or a pack of six uh, can coolers, they're going to be very confused seeing just one image. So to avoid confusion and even add a customer service, I'm going to go ahead and create a separate image showing them the multiples of can coolers so that they actually see visually that hey I am purchasing four at a time. So what I did was I just duplicated this image and I just laid them right behind one another just like that so one on each side and then depending on how many um, packs that you want to sell all together is how many you want to put in your image so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try to sell a pack of five. So in here, I've already resized each of the can cooler. I literally just pasted the same one and put it 
behind the original image. So then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and add a background. So you can go on places like Pixabay or Pexels and get a royalty free background image that you can use. So over here I just picked a sort of beachy background um, for my can coolers. And then what I also like to do is kind of telling my customers, you know, front and center how many coolers are included in their orders therefore there's no confusion sometimes people miss it in the title or even in the description so it's always good to also add it in the image so over here i also added um, the rectangle which i created myself on here and then i typed in you know this is a five pack can cooler so people are aware of how much they are getting uh, for the price that they are paying. So this is how I literally create the front page for my product. And this, if you look at this, this is pretty much a ready-made Facebook ad that you can start running right now. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image and I'll be right back. So I just uploaded the image that I created um, onto Shopify. So I'm going to go ahead and click save. Then I'm going to view it. So this is how the front page will look like. Again, you can set this up very quickly, literally within a few minutes, and you can get it to launch. Um, now, I know this is not about coffee, but of course, this is just a test store. Um, and the pricing is actually wrong. I was just putting it in to show you very quickly. But since we are selling a pack of five, so I just multiply $14.99 times five. Of course, you can always adjust and test out different pricing. Um, but in this case, I'm going to come back here and I'm going to change out the pricing. So um, for this bundle, it'll actually cost $74.95. And go ahead and click save. Then come back here and I'm going to refresh the page. Again, this um, pricing will reflect the pack of five can coolers. And then again, you know, you can sell it just like this and you can have that person add it to cart so they can purchase all five of the can coolers. Now, I don't want to leave you guys hanging with the product creation process. A lot of people always ask me, you know, how do I actually get people to purchase it? So in that case, we need to run traffic. So you can either go on Facebook or Instagram um, to run traffic back to your Shopify store. Um, so in this uh, purpose of this training, I'm going to show you how to run a quick Facebook ad. But the first thing we want to do is create a Facebook page and on the page we want to create the ad. So very similar to how you would post on your own Facebook profile, this is exactly how we are going to create the ad. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the photo. So I just uploaded the photo and I'm just going to go ahead and type in a quick description. I'm just going to say, do you like bikes? And then I'm going to say, grab these awesome can coolers here. And then I can go ahead and paste in the link which I'm going to grab right now. Okay, come back down here, paste in the link, and then I can add in a scarcity, or if I'm running a discount for 20% off or 10% off, or if you're offering free shipping, whatever you're offering, go ahead and put it down here. I'm just gonna say um, only 100 left, get yours. Now. So some sort of urgency. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share it. It takes literally a few seconds to set up this ad. Um, you can actually run this ad right now. Um, it's actually very perfectly done, very professional. So in order to run the ad, you need to go and register for an ad account, which is free to sign up. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and click create. And then for the purpose of this training, I'm going to show you a conversion campaign, which is recommended when you're selling any type of products or services. So I'm just going to say test uh, can cooler ad. And then I'm going to go ahead and click continue. 
Now the first thing we want to come and do is actually select the conversion event that we want to happen. So in this case, since I want people to purchase my cooler, I'm going to select the purchase event. Now as you guys notice that when you come and pick the event, if you haven't had any traffic or any purchases on your store, the pixel has not been fired. That's why this dot is red and not green. But once you start getting a few sales in, um, the pixel, this light right here will turn green. So that means that it is starting to record some of your visits, your sales, your ads, to carts. So let's come down over here and the next thing we want to do is making sure you can select the age, the gender, or the languages. Um, I always type in English for the language because my ad is in English so I definitely want the person to view my ad are able to uh, read and speak English properly. Um, uh, also for the age, you can set it at you know 21 and above or you can if you know your demographic um, say your demographic is either 35 and up you can obviously set it here now over here we can set in the targeting so since my niche is in biking I can target people that like bikes So over here, I don't want to pick the first one because it's under employers. That's not what we want. Um, they have different types of biking. So you can obviously split test the different interest groups. There's uh, bicycles, which is a good one, row bicycle. I'm just going to choose a very basic one like bicycles. And as we come down here, um, you can leave it on automatic placements or you can either select your placements manually. Now if you are testing any kind of new products that you're unsure of, I always recommend that you select certain places to put your ad. So this is not to say never run your ads in these areas, the searches, the messages and apps. I'm just saying that this is when you are ready to scale a product that you know um, that have the potential to scale very very quickly which means you have proven that you get sales um, so I would actually uncheck everything and keep it only at the news feeds um, this is where you're gonna get the best conversions and be able to test whether or not a product will sell so I'm gonna come down over here and then enter in my budget I'm just gonna enter five dollars continue so once you come on to the next page, you want to go ahead and make sure that you have selected the right page that you created the ad on. And then I'm going to click use existing post because we've already created our ad underneath the page section. So I'm going to go ahead and select the post over here and I'm going to go ahead and click continue. Now over here, once I click continue, they're going to give you a preview on how your ad would look like. So as you can see, it looks like the one right over here. They're going to have your brand name, um, the description you typed up, and your image. Um, you also have the option to set up your buttons and then add in the link. Over here, I just added any random link uh, just so I can show you how the buttons will look like. So after you have finished your ad, um, you can scroll down over here and you can click uh, confirm and then Facebook will confirm your ad and they're going to start running your ad campaign. So very super simple and easy to create an ad on Facebook. And another great tip is if you come on to Google, you can actually type in pack of koozies this should be of koozies um, and what you can do is search around for inspiration on how other people are doing it I'm not saying copy their design or copy their ad but kind of take a look at what's out there so as you can see if I scroll down here there are people selling these as pack of fours um, as you can see over here someone is selling this um, for uh, people who are getting married so people are having bachelorette parties they can order this as a set again you know there's tons of opportunities like that out there if I keep on scrolling as you can see there's a lot here that people purchase in pairs so you can sell two koozies at a time instead of one you just have to get very creative on how to create your products and that just goes into doing tons of research um, about your niche um, as you can see, come down here, 
you know this is just a quote but people are selling these in bundles um, this is definitely not a new model a lot of people have been doing this for many many years um, and another one that I found on Etsy over here which is really great inspiration on how they took a creative angle to sell koozies so over here they literally bundled let me see one two three four five six seven all of these coolers have a different saying but a lot of people will want to buy these as a set because they're used for bachelorette or bachelor parties um, and so a lot of people are willing to purchase this as a set so this is a very great idea that um, if you get creative with your niche that you can create a different uh, koozie saying on each of these and then just sell it all together just like this so in this case um, this person I don't believe that they're doing print on demand they could be um, but they are selling all of these in one bundle so I want to go ahead and wrap up this video I don't want this video to be too long but basically in this video we covered on how you can start selling can coolers which is considered a low ticket product and turn it into a bundled product which you are making literally $40 margins uh, 50 or $60 profit margins if you know how to bundle it correctly and market it to your niche audience. So that's it for this video. I hope I gave you a little bit of inspiration, some ideas on how you can get started with your print on demand business. Again, if you love content just like this, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so you'll be notified every time I drop a video just like this. Alright guys, until next time, live free.